Hi everybody, this is Matt from Race Splitter, and in this video we're going to be demonstrating a couple of techniques for handling a challenging situation, and that is when multiple racers are arriving together. So we've got a race set up here, the Athens Trail Race, with six racers, and let's, let's get that race started. Okay, so imagine the race has been underway for a while now, and we see a group of racers that are coming up over the horizon, and it looks like they might arrive together. Um, so what I'll do is I'll prepare for that situation by uh, adding the first racer's bib number to the timing bar, and I'll add the second racer's number to the timing bar, and then I'll add the third racer bib number also to the timing bar. So I've preloaded the bib numbers of the three racers that I see coming. If I were to tap record all, I would assign the same time to all of them. But I'm going to wait until they cross the line. Okay, here they come. Well, it looks like racer two has pulled ahead, and he's going to pass first. So here he comes. So the way I'll handle this is I'll tap racer two, that turns orange, and I'll record his time. Now it looks like racers one and three are actually going to cross the line at the same time. So I'll tap record all to assign the same time to both of those racers. We can see there's racer two and racer three. Okay, now here comes another group. They're coming up so fast that I hardly even have time to check their bib numbers. So I'm going to have to record three timing entries for racers whose bib numbers I don't know. So what I'm going to do um, for that situation is I'm just going to time, I'm going to create some timing entries for a bib number that I know is outside of the start list. So I know there's no racer in 99. So what I'm going to do is type 99, record, 99, record, 99, record. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and fix those in a minute. But let's go ahead and stop the race. Okay, so now I had a person working with me in the timing, and she was t she was writing down the bib numbers as people finish. So I can consult with her, and I can see that the first unnamed racer that uh, crossed the line was bib number four. So bib number four, lap one. That was Alex. I'll save that. So I've corrected that one. Now the second bib number that passed was bib number. 6, so put one there and add 6. Now this is not lap 2, this is lap 1. So we'll change that and save. And finally, the last racer that crossed the line was uh, bib number 5, so I'm going to go in and fix that one too. Uh, this is also not lap 3, this is lap 1. 5. Okay, so um, now all the races are uh, all the race data is corrected and there's my final results. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this, be sure to visit help.racesplitter.com and submit a question. Um, that's all for now. Thank you.